guys, so today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to revamp your old Uggs and make them look like new again. So the things you will need are a pair, or in my case only one because I already did the other one, of old Uggs, mine are about four years old, a slicker brush, and this is actually Udi's brush, it has wire bristles that are angled in a way to brush like curly kinky fur out, shampoo and conditioner, and last but not least, a butter knife to pry the insole out. So now I am just going to take my slicker brush and start at the top part of the Ugg, and then work my way down deeper into the boot, and I'm just kind of brushing this in short little strokes instead of doing long strokes because that's not going to really get us deep into the fur like where it's attached to the boot so you really want to brush it in like short little strokes and then just take your time with this and work all the way down and then as we get deeper we can fold down the boot and start brushing the heel part out unfortunately you will not be able to get into the toe unless you have a really tiny brush which I didn't so I got as far in as I could but I couldn't get really far make sure you're not brushing backwards or it could ruin your brush like um so always kind of pull towards you and then brush the very outside of the fur so it kind of like stands up the way it is in like the factory pictures then we are going to take our handy dandy butter knife straight from the kitchen and we're going to apply pressure with the tip of it right in the seam on the side where the boot meets the sole and we're just going to kind of wiggle it back and forth to try to, to loosen the insole up and the insole is not very thick it's less than a quarter inch thick it's probably like an eighth of an inch thick and so getting your butter knife under there where it's glued down shouldn't be too hard just kind of keep wiggling it and then when it starts to come up um take the butter knife out and stick your hand in and you are going to kind of pry the rest of it up with your fingers so here we have it all nice and disgusting and this is what four years of wear looks like on your boot so now we are going to take this thing to the sink and wash it so now you want to turn the water on cool so we don't loosen any adhesives and just kind of rinse the insole and make it nice and saturated and then we're just going to take our shampoo squirt a little in our hand and kind of rub it all over the insole don't do the back because there is a little bit of adhesive on the back that's going to help stick this back into the boot when we replace it in there and if you don't want to go through all this trouble Ugg does sell replacement insoles for like 20 bucks so if you want to do that you can but um, I'm a cheapskate so I'm doing it the hard way and the water is actually brown because of how disgusting these are but just keep washing them and um, you can reapply like more shampoo and more shampoo to get them as clean as you can. They won't be perfect, but they'll be better than they were. So now I'm just going to take this conditioner and rub it all over and then I'm going to rinse it out. And this is going to try to soften up the fur again and make it fluffy. And so I'm going to make sure these are all rinsed out because if not, they're going to feel horrible. And then I'm going to place it on my towel, fold the towel over, roll the insole up and press down and then this is going to help get as much water out as we can and we're going to repeat this process two or three times until they are fairly dry there is leather um on that's where the fur is coming out of is actual leather so it's going to take a long time to dry so just leave it be and when it's dry you can take your slicker brush and begin to brush it out in those short strokes we used on the boot and we're just going to fluff up the fur and if your insoles are as old as mine then you will have the problem of missing little patches where you have worn out completely down to the leather so there's nothing you can do about that just fluff it up and maybe like fluff it over and now we are going to take a wet washcloth and clean up all the mud that's all over our boots because if you're like me and you live somewhere where it's wet and the ground is gross and squishy you're going to get your Ugg boots very muddy so we're going to only use this wet washcloth on the sole and to buff out any mud or any other salt marks we are going to take a piece of mesh tool with the really wide holes in it and we're going to buff out any little spots before we iron now i'm going to take a couple pieces of 
fabric, ball it up and stick one in the toe of the shoe and one in the ankle part. You might need more if your boots are bigger or less if they're smaller than mine. And then we are just going to take our um, medium high heat iron and we're just going to go in circular motions all around the boot and then take the packing out if you need to move the boot into a different shape. And we're just going to repeat this and buff it out once again when we are all done because the iron lays the fur down. If you want it to be more suede looking, you can fluff the fur back up again and you are all done. Just pop back in your insoles and enjoy your new boots. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below if you own Ugg boots and if you do, what style are they? And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can join the Marley fan YouTube, and I will see you on Wednesday. Bye!